Some tips to optimize um, your pages for Google, link to your Facebook page from your website. So if you've got a website, put a link to your Facebook page. Because some people that come to your website will then see that you've got a Facebook page and click through uh, and have a look at your Facebook page. You might like your Facebook page and start engaging with you on there. But the other th reason that's good to do is that when Google's algorithm is looking at a website, what they're doing is they're looking to see, well, one of the things they're looking to see is, are you definitely still in business? Because you know there are loads of websites out there for businesses that aren't actually still operating, aren't there? So say that somebody searches for bed and breakfast in Blackpool, there's hundreds of them. And some of those have probably gone out of business since they made their web page, but they've left the website there. So one of the things face, uh, Google does to see if someone's still in business is they look for any anything that would suggest they are still in business. So if there's a business that's posted to their Facebook page today, they're probably still a going concern. If the last post they made to their Facebook page was two years ago, they're probably not still a going concern. So it's called like a heartbeat signal that someone's still in business. But So if you make it easy for Google and you've got a link from your website to your Facebook asset, they can make that connection and see what you're posting on Facebook every day, you're definitely still in business. If there's no link, Google's got to try and work it out. And so, well, I don't know if this business is still around or not. The website hasn't changed for a year. I can't find a Facebook page for them. Um, maybe they're not still in business. I'll stick them down the rankings. But this other business here, they've linked to their Facebook page. They've posted three times this week. They're definitely still good. I'll move them up the rankings, okay? So kind of social signals are starting to affect SEO. Include your keywords in the about section. Again, more chance that Facebook searches are going to find it. And also use keywords in posts. So when you make a post on your page, use keywords that uh, you want to be found for. And again, when people use that search bar on top of Facebook, they're more likely to find you. And increasingly, that search bar is being used a lot more these days. And there's sort of suggestions that Facebook wants to become their own search engine. And they'd, they'd like to sort of not Google out and they'd like people to start their search for things on Facebook. Uh, claim your vanity name so you can have facebook.com slash your chosen word rather than uh, a random number, which is the default. Search engines also look at the number of likes that your page has got. So in this scenario, obviously, we've got two businesses. If, if one business had a link to a Facebook page and someone's active, that's good. But now imagine there's two businesses, both got a website, both of their websites linked to a Facebook page, but one business's Facebook page has got 10 likes and the other business's Facebook page has got 20,000 likes. What order do you think all other things being equal, Google puts them in and Google results? The one with 20,000 likes first and then the one with 10 likes because it seems to be a much bigger more important business than the other one, yeah? So the number of likes that you've got is important as well. And you might want to think about creating more than one page for your business. A lot of the big brands are actually creating a page per product these days. They're not just having a page for their brand, they're making a separate page for different product lines that they sell so it's more specific and they can target specific keywords. Uh -huh.